my name is Andy and welcome to All the Lonely Meeples. On this channel I share solo playthroughs of various board games, including tutorials on how to play. As always, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video features the final game in my favorite Roll and Write series, Part 1, and that is The Isle of Cats, Explore and Draw, a 1-6 player game designed by Frank West and published by the City of Games. If you're ready, let's jump right in. Here are the components you'll need for a solo game of The Isle of Cats, Explore and Draw. You'll need your markers, your boat sheet, your lessons sheet, the cat's deck, the lessons deck, your day tracker, and wind ship. Now in the solo play, you're playing against your sister, so you'll also need her solo lessons deck, and you also need the solo colors. There are five of them one for each colored cat. To set up, we first organize the cat's cards and the lessons cards into three rows of four, as shown on page four of the rulebook. And I've been playing this game uh, several times, and I still do not remember the order of cat's cards to uh, lessons cards. <clears throat> but here's how I do it. Column A is the first three cards. We're gonna flip those over. Column B is a lessons card at the top, and then cat's cards, and then cat, lessons card, cat. Let me move these over. And then a cat card right in the middle. I'll set these over to the side. Now I go back through and I put in the lessons cards. Set this over to the side. Next what I need to do, let me move this down. Next what you need to do is take the, the solo color cards, give them a good mix, and you're gonna set them out in a row from left to right, and I just like to always put it at the top here. Okay, and next we're going to choose three cards from our sister's deck, and as shown, on page 10 of the rulebook, we're going to play the easy difficulty. So we're going to, uh, we've shuffled the lesson cards and we're going to place three face up on the table and then we're going to return the rest to the box. If you want harder difficulties, with medium difficulty, you'll add uh, one advanced card. There are sol advanced solo cards. Hard is two advanced, very hard is three. And then if you want to go expert, you'll add four additional advanced cards in there. <clears throat> and those are, these are the lessons the ways that your sister is going to score points off of your hard work during the game. And just for space, we will, let's move Vesh over there, we'll put these three just right there. Okay. All right, and then the rest of these will go to the box. Make sure you have your, your player board they are double-sided. Each board is a little different. We'll explain what that is uh, next. Each one's a little different, and um, but you can choose which one you want. And then we'll need you'll need the lessons card so that you can check off lessons as you acquire them. And finally, make sure you have Vesh's ship and the round counter nearby. Now let's take a look at the cards and what they do, and our boards. I went ahead and reorganized my table just a bit to accommodate my camera. And what we're doing in this game is we are going to, every turn, we are going to choose one column, either A, B, C, or D, of cards. And we're going to place any cats and treasures we can on our boat. And if we have lessons, we'll be placing them, checking them off on our lesson sheet. These lessons, one through 26, there's 26 here in the game, those are going to give us points if we meet certain criteria. So what we're doing is we're going on to an island, as we can see in the, in the round counter, and we are trying to take as many cats as we can and save them, put them on our boat, because by the seventh, at the end of the seventh day, Vesh appears and takes the rest of the cats. In the meantime, our sister 
for the solo play, our sister has snuck aboard our, our ship and is trying to take credit for the work that we're doing. And for the easy mode, she has three objectives that she is going to take credit for. And we'll explain those um, later on in the video. So with the setup, let me explain a little bit about each card. We have cat cards with a certain shape. And so if I chose this column, column A, I would get a purple cat in this shape, a red cat in this shape, and a blue cat. And I love, I love the artwork and the different types of shapes there are. If I do take this one, uh, as in most, most tile placement games, the first, if I were to take this cat, I would place it anywhere on my board. And I can flip, rotate this any way I want to make it to accommodate it. So perhaps I want to take it and we'll just, just for right now, we'll go like this. There you go. So I might do some, I like to do different patterns. But I've now placed that cat on my ship. Starting with the first thing you put on your board, either cat or treasure, and there are two types of treasures. There are commons and rares. I'll explain those as they come up. You need to connect from your first, excuse me, your first cat or treasure. So you don't get to place anywhere you want all the time. You'll place your first one and then from there you'll grow, uh, you'll place, place connecting to ones you've already placed. Okay. If I chose a column with a treasure, or I'm sorry, with a lesson card, I'll look at the top number, which in this case it's five. I normally do this with my black marker. I'll go down to my lessons card and I will just cross off number five. And number five happens to be two points per rare treasure on your boat. So if I take that treasure, or if I take that lesson, I'm going to be trying to accumulate rare treasures throughout the game because I'll get two points per at the end of the, at the end of the game. The last type of uh, here's actually there's two other cards. These are treasure cards. These are rares. You can tell the difference between rares and treasures, rares and commons, because the rares have more gold in them. And we have four types of common treasures, and they're more red and smaller. The common treasures are a one piece, a two piece, and then a three long and a three bend. And the final type of card that we have is called an Oshax, an Oshax cat. Oshaxes tend to be, uh, they are wild cats and they tend to be in um, bigger and more wild shapes, but they can be any color. Now let's take a look at our boards specifically. Now let's go over your two boards, which is the ship board and the lessons board. As stated earlier, the lessons board is simply the list of lessons that you can acquire during the game. There are 26 of them. I think in any given game, I probably have two or three, maybe four, depending on if they're in rows and columns with other cards that I want. And you'll just cross those off as you acquire them, and then those cards get discarded. Now the ship has a lot more to talk about. So as you can see here, we have our main ship, and on the board itself, we have several features. We have maps of one of each color type of cat. We have rats. And then we have various rooms, and the rooms are shaded differently than those next to them, as well as they have little symbols in the corners. And that's going to be important because of how we score. So while we're placing, we will place cats. Let's say I have this blue cat right here to start. Let's say I take another orange cat and place it. Um, at the end of the game, any rat that is still visible is negative one point. So while you're placing, you want to think about how do I cover up these rats during the game? And everything is shown down here at the bottom, scoring. And so we'll go to the scoring real fast in the middle. Every rare treasure you have on your boat is going to be three points. So that lesson that I took that gave me two extra points per rare treasure, that would be five treasures if I took that, or five points per treasure, rare treasure, if I took that, that lesson. But you're going to get three points per rare treasure in your boat. 
the lessons that you completed, you'll add those uh, points up on your lesson sheet. Every rat that is still visible is negative one points. And the hardest part of this game, I think, is the rooms. Every room, so as we see, we have a room here. We have rooms on the sides, one in the middle, and then two on the end here. Additionally, there, this room, this big, large deck, is also a room. It also doesn't have a symbol in the corner of each, of each uh, section square. So all those rooms, you're going to receive negative five points if you don't fill them. Okay? You're also going to score points for your families. So for blue, green, orange, purple, and red, a family of cats is considered three cats or more touching each other. That's a family. So you want to put your, your cats in like colors in your board. For a family of three will be eight points. A family of four is 11. All the way down to a family of 10 is 40 points. I don't, I think I may have seen a family of 10 once, not from me. So as we're placing, if you, let me go ahead and grab a red as I'm by this red uh, map. If I place a cat of the same color, I'm making this shape up. If I place a cat of the same color as a map that I cover up, so there's my red map and I put a red cat over it, that allows me to take a common treasure for free and put it on my boat. And again, the common treasures are a one piece, two, a three straight, and a three bend. So if I did that, where I put the red cat on top of the red map, I will take my, I do treasures in, in black. I get to place one of those treasures. Perhaps I want to, this room has two here and one square there. So maybe I'll do that. So now all I have for this room is one more square. And I can easily do that with another, uh, preferably red or, or orange. The cool part about this game is that there are specials on the, the left side, uh, bottom left side of the board. And there are five special actions you can take to change the game during your turn. And there's a special note that you may use one special per round in the seven and three specials in total. So out of the seven rounds in the game, three of the rounds, you can use one of your specials. And here are what those are. Normally in the game, I'm gonna choose one of the columns and take and, and, and copy all the cards that are there onto my boat. However, the first one says, choose one additional card from any other column. So if I did that, I, will, I would announce that, cross it off, and I'd choose a column, and then perhaps maybe I want uh, another card from another column. Maybe I want this lesson because it pairs with the cards in a column that I'm already taking. Likewise, if I wanted to choose the second one, it says choose one card from each row instead of a column. So instead of going columns, I could choose maybe this card, this card for treasure, and then maybe this Oshax here. Get a little bit of each. The next one says, oh, this is my favorite, choose a row instead of a column. This is your way of getting four cards, or what, an, another way of getting four cards. Instead of going up and down, maybe I want both of these lessons, and the only way, one of the only ways to do that is to go row instead of a column. So I can do those four cards, these, or these four. Perhaps I want to do these four because that gets me actually five cats, because there are two on this card, and it doesn't have the word or on it, just like uh, as in this one, where I either choose this one or this one. So I would get five cats from this one if I, from this row, if I chose that special. The next two is which draw your next cat twice. So if I placed one of these cats on my board, I would use this power to draw that cat again. Likewise, the last one is draw your next treasure twice. So if I use that on this turn where I place this common, I would place another treasure of that size somewhere on my boat following the, following the rules, placement rules, okay? And that is, that is your boat. After each round, we are going to, as we are putting these away, all these cards away, once I've, once I've chosen my column, any specials that I want, placed everything on my board, we will uh, discard these rows and columns. The game starts with one of your sister's solo colors flipped over. 
whichever color this is of the five that are in the game, your sister at the end of the game is going to receive five points for each of the cats of this color on your ship. At the end of every round, following the first one, or for the next four rounds, we're going to flip another color, another card. This next color is going to be four points for every cat of that color on my, on my board. The next one is three for your sister, then two, and then one. So ideally, whichever one she flips over, we flip over first at the beginning of the game, we're going to want to steer clear of that color cat because that's going to be giving her the most points. And with that, let's play the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. All right, everything is reset. The, <clears throat> the card area is clear, so let's play a solo playthrough of Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. I'm first going to set up my cat and lesson cards. And off, the, off, off screen I have the the order of them, I just can never remember how they go. Okay. Oh, that's nice, some treasures. And then I'll fill in <clears throat> with the lessons. Some more treasures. This lesson says eight points if you have exactly four purple and four red cats on your boat. That's something I can possibly strive for here. I do like this one. One point per two cats touching the edge of your boat. So every two cats that go along the edge, I can score one point. And then seven points if every cat on your boat is part of a family. That's an interesting one. Mm. Let's see, do I want to go for cats first or lessons? Oh, I should probably pause and say what my sister is trying to take credit for. My sister is trying to take credit for 10 points if you have fewer than nine treasures. So, and that's that's any treasures, um, common or rare. And rare treasures are good because these are rare treasures because they're three points each. Um, so if I can get nine, I'm gonna take 10 points away from her automatically. Five points per lonely cat. A lonely cat is a cat not touching any other cats of the same color. So if all my cats are touching another cat of the same color, I take five points or several points away from her. And then she's going to score five points per visible rat on my boat. And then rats are negative one point for me if they're still visible. And then the color cat that she will be getting five points each for is orange. So looking at that automatically, if I take this column, I'm going to give her five points. If I take this column, I'll be giving her five points. And hmm. So that makes... Really, these two look good to start. Um, I do like blue and purple because on my on my ship, the blue and purple, purple and blue uh, maps are next to each other. So maybe I could start that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to see how I want to do this. Hmm. Do I want to start with blue or I'm going to start with blue. So I won't, I'm going to be taking from column B. It's A, B, C, and D. I'm not going to be taking any lessons this time. I don't, ooh, one point per two would be nice. I think I'll wait. So I'm going to take this right here. I don't normally start on the edge of, a, of the boat, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. And so in the rules, I have to resolve uh first so i did cover a blue map with a blue cat so i'm going to go ahead and resolve that map so i get a common treasure and again vesh is on uh round seven the first round of seven and the common treasures are a one a two a three straight and a three bend so i think i want to do the three bend and get this this end captain's quarters i believe that's the captain's quarters finished. There you go. And there's one treasure <clears throat> toward my my nine. Let's go ahead and I want to see if I can get, I think, oh, I think this will work. I'm going to go ahead and do my, so I've done my blue card. I'll, I'll kind of turn it sideways. I'm going to do my gold card my treasure card and I either get a four square or a four straight 
what I'm thinking about is I want to get as much on the board as I can this first round. So if I put this here, this rare treasure, and that'll be two treasures toward my nine, I'm just going to put R to remind me that it's rare because it will be three points. I did leave a, a spot here of two. I'm going to hopefully come back and get that in a second. And then I'm going to play my purple. And if I did, hmm, well, okay. I may not be able to get the purple yet. That's okay. I don't want to leave too many spaces as that's going to make it harder to, to do things later. Hmm. Let's go ahead and we won't do, I was going to get the purple map as well, but I want to take out some rats here. So we'll do that. And you'll see my, how I do my patterns pretty shortly in the next round. Okay. So I've placed this one like so this one as shown and I placed my treasure and I got an extra treasure for my map. I think a pretty good start. I want to try to move left on my ship as fast as possible. Um, understanding that I'm not going to get every room done. I'd like to leave two rooms open if possible, not three. So let me reset for the, the next round. So now we clear off all the cards. Let me get all the green ones out of the way. Okay. Set them off to the side and these should all be the blues, the lesson cards. We're going to flip the next cat over. So red cats will be giving my sister four points. So oranges are five points, reds are four points. And that's good because I only have purple and blue. So right now purples and blues will give her at least from one, two, or three points. We move Vesh over and one round of the game is already, is already done. Here we go. Okay. Well, I don't think I want that card. It has a, an orange and a, <clears throat> and a red. Ooh, a lot of, at some point I'm going to have to do that because it's going to be inevitable and I need to be able to move. There's a lot of cats. Oh, let me, <laughs> whoops. Okay. Pause. All right, here we go. Now that the cards are cleared away, we're going to flip over the next cat that will score my sister four points and it is red. And so far that's good because if a purple or blue turned up, I would already be giving her points. So right now purples and blues will be worth one, two or three points. And then we will reset using the handy sheet in uh, page four of the book. So right now that column is, Ooh, a lot of, a lot of orange coming up. At some point I'm going to have to take, uh, cats and give her points. Okay. And then the lessons. Okay. So if I leave rats on my boat, it's two points per visible rat, giving her five points per rat. So I don't know how that really translates right now. Uh, there's an Oshak, so a wild that's, that's good. I have purple and blue. I might keep with that. That actually looks really good. <clears throat> 10 points if you have exactly five visible rats on your boat. I don't think I'm going to do that as um, five visible rats will give her 25 points. And I really don't want to do that. It's a great card in the, uh, when you're not playing solo, eight points. If you have exactly four orange and four purple cats in your boat, I can do the purple. I don't know if I really want to give, <clears throat> if I really want to give my sister um, 20 points there. So looking through here, I think column C, A, B, C is a really great bet because I've already, I've already, I'm, 
I've already got blue and purple and this Oshax can be any color. I think I'm gonna go with that. At some point I have to choose some lessons to get additional points. So let's see what, how I can place this. Hmm. It might be a little difficult, but I think what I wanna do is I'm going to place the blue here. Personally, when I play, I try to use the deck portion, the gray portion, just as a way, a means to get to the other, the other rooms as fast as possible. I'll try to cover the rats as I can, but I don't want to spend too much time covering the rats uh, on the deck. Okay, and then we have the purple one. Ooh, I like that shape. I really want to get, I want to get that purple map. And so I think to extend out, I'm going to go here. One, two, three, and one. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we'll do that. Oops, oops. oops. Like that. Okay, and I'll, I normally alternate between uh, stripes and then dots. Some people that I play with use numbers. Um, I think I like the patterns. So I covered a purple map, so I'm going to give myself a one, two, or three uh, common treasure. And I'm going to go ahead and before I keep going and forget this, I'm going to go put that treasure right here. It's a common treasure and fills that space. So right now I have three treasures toward my nine to get take 10 points away from my sister. And then I have the Oshax. Okay, and right now purple and blue are not scoring me any points, but this card could give me the ability to start scoring uh, for families. So where do I want, can I put that shape Oh man, I could almost put it in here, but that's going to be an odd shape to put. So I might, I'm waiting for a, a smaller one, smaller ones to put right in there. So I think what I'll do is, hmm, maybe I'll use it to get into here. That might be, that might be a good bet. So I'll do purple. I'll make it purple. I could, could I make it red? Is there any way that I can get this over there? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. So I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay. And I should have mentioned, um, yes, cats can lay across rooms. Uh, you don't have to adhere to the walls, which is really nice. That would be very, very difficult if you couldn't cross rooms. Okay. And now I have this very long spread out family of three that purple will be giving me eight points. And I didn't take any, um, I didn't take any cards. If I want to, I can, I can use one of my specials. I think I'm gonna wait. I've set myself up to now starting to move into other areas of the board. And so I think that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna take all the green cards set them off to the side. And the blue cards. Okay, we'll move Vesh over to the third round. We're gonna flip over the third color cat that will be giving my sister three points. Okay, so it's purple. So right now I've given her nine points, that's okay. Um, and so the other options are green and blue. Let's hope blue is down here for one point. And we will lay out the next set. It's actually a pretty fast game. The rounds are very quick. Oh, I really like that, that row or that column because it has no orange or reds and it's got, it has a, pur a couple purples, but I'm pretty committed to purple at this point. Um, okay. I think it might even be time to use a, one of my special abilities. Those are, those are some big rare treasures there. 
I believe the rare treasures are fours and fives. Maybe just fours. Okay, and now the lessons. There's an Oshax. It is called the lessons deck, but each of the decks have um, Oshax cats and treasures. Okay, this says one point per lesson you have chosen, including this one. Uh, it is including this one. So, well, I haven't chosen any lessons. That might be one that I, I pick up. Oop. Seven points if you have exactly four families. So if I can start getting, I have a fa one family already of purple. If I can get three more families in a few more rounds, uh, that's a possibility. Seven points if you have covered exactly three treasure maps. Well, right now I've covered two. And if I take this, I'm going to have to commit, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to have to commit to not covering any more treasure maps. And the issue with that is treasure maps are in the rooms. And so if I cover that treasure, if I cover a fourth treasure map, I don't get the seven points. If I get the seven points here, I might be losing uh, more rooms being completed. And just uh, to <clears throat> reiterate, I can, my specials are choose an additional card from any other column, choose a card from each row. Hmm. Maybe I could do that. I could really play at my purple. Um, because I've got a purple here, a purple here, and then maybe, maybe a red. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. And that red actually fits really nice. Oh, I think I'm talking myself into it. That red fits right there. Hmm, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Choose a row instead of a column. I like the rows. This one's really nice, gets a lot of cats, but I don't really know if I want that treasure map. Draw your next cat twice, draw your next treasure twice. I think I talked myself, hmm, that only gives me, if I do one each row, I get three cats. If I do this column, I'm going to get four with two greens. However, I think I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, I'm going to declare that I'm going to choose one card from each row instead of a column. So mark that down and I'm going to choose this one, this one, and this one. So two purples and a red. I'm going to do the red first. And I'm going to flip it. So it's basically like this, but the other way. And I'm going to have it go up and around. So four. Oh, that's perfect. I'm glad that came up. So there, I've covered that red. That red map. I'll go ahead and keep that sideways so I remember. And so now I have a treasure. <clears throat> I could... I could place a common treasure right here to complete that room. That's definitely something. Or I can come back here and complete, or uh, better complete this room. And I think I'm going to go back here and attach it to blue. I'm kind of erasing my blue a little bit there. There you go. That is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my, my black marker and I'm going to put another common treasure right here. Right now my common treasures are worth nothing. I think there is a card that gives you one point per treasure or two points per treasure on your boat. Um, but right now I have one, two, three, four treasures toward uh, getting nine because it's fewer than nine treasures. All right, and so now I'm going to extend my purples. And I really like, I really like this cat right in that position. So let's try this, let's do it goes one, two, three, one, two, and one. Okay. And we'll make that polka dot as well. And it covered up a rat. Again, I need to try and get as many rats as possible to take five points each away from my sister. And now I have this card. Oop. Now I did say I was going to take this card. If I wanted to, I could take this card um, since I haven't chosen from this row and I could make that purple. I'm just trying to decide what shape would work best. Hmm. So, or I could take a treasure. I don't have to take another purple cat because right now I do have a group of four and that's getting me 11 points. I might take a treasure though, now that I'm looking at it because I need more treasures and that's three points. So I think I'm going to take the treasure. I, I don't rarely change my mind right before I 
I do the card. But I'm going to go ahead and forego these two cats. I'm going to do a treasure. And, oh, where am I placing the treasure? Let's go ahead. Ooh, I need to see these shapes. Okay. I get one or the other. That would be awesome if I got both, but that would be, well, that'd be a fantastic card. Hmm. I think what I want to do is just right here. I'll actually use it exactly like that. Coming this way, one, two, three, four. Right there. And I'll put R's for rares. Okay. Yes, I think that was the better choice. And so now, the great thing is I have one, two, three, four, five treasures out of my nine to take ten points away from her. Additionally, I have two rares, which are three points each, uh, on my boat. And I use my first power. Uh, I have two more to choose from within the next few rounds. And so let's go ahead and reset for the next... That was round three, so this is round four. And it goes pretty fast. That's one reason I really like this game. I think this was, uh, yeah. Okay. I do need to, I don't think I've ever played a game where I didn't get any lessons. I definitely need to pick up a lesson here. Let's do the next card. I would really like it to be green. It is blue. Okay, which means the final one is green. And we'll flip that next round. We'll move the round tracker. And let's reset. All right, so my blues and purples are two points and three points. Um, for my sister. So right now she's getting uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 12, and then 13, 14, 15. I'm giving her 16 points and then 4 for my red, 20. So right now she's got 20 points from cats. All right, so there's three. I do need to, I would like to get a, um, I would like to get another blue and another red so that that cat isn't lonely. Okay, and then the lessons. Ooh, got some rare treasures. That would have been a great shape over here, but I went ahead and did something else. Four points per family of four or more cats in your boat. Okay, that's something. I have I have a family of four purples, so that would give me, excuse me, uh, another four points for that family. Ah, that, ooh, that's, I might like that. 10 points if you have no visible rats on your boat. That would be a game changer, taking giving my sister no points per visible rat and giving myself 10. It's doable. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 rats. So that right now is giving my sister 50 points. We need to change that. Nine points if you have at least one cat touching exactly five treasures. That's a hard one. Um, and it's not possible for this one. So what it means is this cat would be, need to be touching five treasures, and right now it's touching one, two, three, four, and I've already, I've already surrounded it. This treasure has the potential as, um, well, I guess these. Hmm, no, I don't. I was thinking of it backward. Not cats touching treasures, but treasures. Not treasures touching cats, but cats touching treasures. Sorry, that was confusing. Okay, what do I want to do? I could stick with my purple uh, game here. That's a nice six there. I don't really want to give her five points, but I know the green is going to be one, and I could go this way. Um, I also don't want to do lonely cats. So I could choose one additional card from any other column. So if I went with this, I'm 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 looking at I'm looking at uh, the column A, and it's hard. I kind of want a treasure, but this is nice if I can get families of four or more, and it gets me another blue. I think I want to do that. So I'm going to. I think I'm definitely going to be taking a special. Choose one additional card from any other column, or do I want to draw? Oh, I'm sorry. Or do I want to draw my next cat twice? Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. 
Okay. Nope, I'm going to choose one additional card from any other column. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the additional column. And it's number eight. So I'm now going to try and get more families of four or more. And we're going to go ahead and do the green cat first. So I'm choosing column A. Because it... That doesn't fit very well. Mm, that's okay. But I'm going to cover up this this green map. Okay, so it needs to go here. That's perfect. That's four. Okay, so I have two lonely cats right now. So I need at least one, one more green and red, taking points away from her, but not giving me any unless they're part of families. This, oh, I need to first do the do the map there. And so I think the map is, I have a plan for these right now, so I'm not gonna focus on that. Let's go ahead and take out this rat. Um, and it can just be a two. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six out of the nine. I think I think I'm in a good I'm in good shape for that. We'll do the purple cat. And so that one we want to get as much done here. I think oof, that's gonna be hard to do. What if I did it this way? Yeah, we'll do it this way. So it's gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. And we'll just do that. I'm really leaning into the purples here. That's gonna be my main scoring family. Because right now I have one, two, three, four, five, and that's gonna get me 15 points. Okay, and then the blue, it's a, it's a, a long five. The cat's stretching out. And I'm gonna put that one right here to get two rats out of the way. I know I, I left myself a rat in the middle there, um, and that's okay. I, it'd be nice to get all the rats taken care of. We'll see if I can do that. All right. And that I marked on the number eight, so I'm getting four points per family of four or more. I have three blue, which is nice. I'm now getting eight points for that. And we'll move on to the next round, so we'll clean up. Okay. I took my first lesson card. And finally, we'll move to round, uh, round five. And lo and behold, green will be scoring my sister at one point. We'll reset. Oh, I like that. Oh my goodness. This, <laughs> so I filled it up a red. I need another red. There's two reds here, two blues and a purple. I don't see myself taking any other column. That was really nice, but we'll see. Oh, this, sorry. This one goes here. That was there. I get carried away and forget that there are more than just cat cards that have to come up. Okay, now the lessons. Seven points if you have at least two treasures touching one visible rat. Well, right now, none of my treasures are touching a visible rat. Doesn't mean it's impossible. I can still do it. So this one says, Either take a rare treasure, one rare treasure, or a two and a one common treasure. So that would be nice to fill in my one rat uh, that I left open. Oh, this is the one. One point per common treasure on your boat. That would be nice because I already have one, two, three. That's four points right there. And then this is any two. So you get to choose any two of the common treasures. Okay, well now I've got a dilemma because I really like this card. really like that card, but I already, this is how this game goes for me most times I play it. I already used choose one additional card from any other column. Now I want to use that for these three and this, but I've already used it. <sighs> but I don't, I think this is too hard to pass up. Drawing five cats is really nice. 
except that this little kitten, one kitten and the two kitten, are still giving her two points each. And these are four points each, so eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This, choosing this gives my sister 15 points. Ooh, this is tough. Hmm, very tough. But I give myself, I'll be giving myself a, a family of three red, a family of five blue, and a family of six purple. That's, that's really hard to pass up. And I could draw one of my next cats twice. I might wait on that though. Let me just make sure that I can actually play this red. I kind of want to put her right there. And it does fit. So, ooh. Everybody, I think I'm gonna, I, know, I have three more rounds. Or no, I'm sorry, in this round two more. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need three more treasures. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my last, I'm gonna use my last special, and I really hope I don't uh, regret this in the next two rounds, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose a row instead of a column. And now I have to decide between this row or this row, row two or row three. In row three, I'm getting, or row two, I'm getting two purples and two blues. That's, that's really awesome. And then I might choose two treasures. That's pretty good. Here I get a blue and a, pur a purple and then two reds. And then two treasures. I think I'm gonna go with this one with the bottom. I really want the two treasures because that'll give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I will need one more treasure. I think I can do that. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a, a one treasure. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my treasure card. I'm gonna take a one. Okay, I have to remember that one's there. Uh, and then I'm going to take a, I'm gonna take a two to get this rat out of the way. Oh no, I forgot I left myself a one right there too. I really need to get that one done. Okay, one thing at a time. We'll go ahead and do this card. And so uh, the way the rules work, I, if I do this card, I'm not allowed to draw the blue and then do a different card and then draw the red. I have to complete this card first. And so my blue is easily, just easily gonna go over here to finish that room. I kind of left dangling over there. Okay. And then I have to draw the red. I'm gonna go ahead and put the red this way to take out the other rat. Okay, now, now I'm gonna draw this one, but I'm gonna flip it so that it goes one, two, three, four, and then comes into this, yeah. Okay, and then finally my purple, which I didn't really think about my purple. It's a very big shape. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. Hmm. I think the best way to do it is to flip these two over to here. And go, so it goes four down, one, two, three, four. And then the, it juts out two right here. Okay, that will work. And we'll do polka dots. Now the bad news is I am out of specials. Okay. I think I'm one treasure away. And right now my sister is getting 15 points for rats. So let me reset. We have two more rounds. No more cats to flip because there's only five colored cats in the game. What I learned from one of my recent videos is that <laughs> My recording goes uh, up to 40 minutes, so I'm going to stop the recording and come right back to this position for the remainder of the game. All right, I am back. So we, are, we have no color cats to flip. We're gonna move Vesh to 
round six and we will reset our cards. I will say I do take some pride in not giving my sister any orange cats. I think I'm going to forego that, but we'll see. All right, there's a lot of cats, orange cats over there. I always say yellow cats, so, but I believe they're orange. Ooh, that's nice. I can't believe how many, how many times I play this, I still have a hard time remembering the order of those cards. Nine points if you have exactly three different color cats. Well, unfortunately, I have red, purple, green, and blue, so that's that's no good. I'm not gonna go for that. Any two common treasures? Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more to take 10 points away from her. Uh, a rare square treasure or or a two common and a three common straight. 15 points if you have fewer than three treasures on your boat. Well, I kind of wish that would have come out earlier, but not really because that conflicts with this. Um, and I can't do that anyway now. Okay, I have no more specials. And just to remind myself that that is not an option, I'm gonna put a big X right there to remind myself you can't do that. I am getting four points per family of four or more cats in your boat. So I would love a red uh, <laughs> and some greens. Um, I think it's silly to take this column because this is a wasted card, but this is three points and then one cat. Um, this is a nice cat though. I don't even know if I can place it. One, two, three. I could place it and take out two more rats right here because I know I'm not going to fill this main deck. And right now I've got these three to fill and then this. So I really try to leave two rooms. I don't think I've ever played this game and left only one room open, which means I could take this and get a, a ton of treasures. So I'm not really sure what I want to do. <clears throat> Except I think I'm going to take, oh man, this is a waste also taking this. Hmm. Maybe I, okay, I'm going to take, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I'm going to take this column. It's going to give me a lot of treasures. I'm going to take a, a rare treasure here fill some gaps with these treasures and then place a green. Now the problem is this green doesn't fit very well to connect to my other green. So I think I'm gonna be giving my sister another five points for a lonely cat. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see how it works out. So I'm going to start with this one, choose any two of the common treasures and I'm gonna use it to fill some holes. <clears throat> it's gonna be right here. And as soon as I play that one, that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna turn that to the side. Uh, actually, 10 points if you have fewer than nine treasures. I'm gonna turn that over because she doesn't get that. That was the one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm just gonna I'll do a three here. It could have just been a two, but just in case I need to work on this shape. And what's lovely is I have three more rats on this boat. And I think, I think I'm gonna take care of them right now. Uh, so let's do the green cat. Yes, I can take care of this right now because I only have one more round. I don't know how, I've set myself up to put purple around in the on the deck for more points. So this cat is just gonna smack right there on the other, oh, that is a black marker. Let me get my green. It's gonna go right here. I think taking 15 points away from her and giving her one is, oh, is pretty good. I'm sorry, one point plus another five, so six, but that's fine. All right, that is the shape and we'll just go. All right, so right now my sister is getting 10 points because I have two lonely uh, cats but five, uh, five points per visible rat. I can turn that around because that is done. I have no visible rats. And then finally, I think 
I think it would be best to take the rare treasure. And that's a T, three across and two jutting out there. Ooh, so I would, I would, oh, I guess I could, if I play this right, I could fill this room in. I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to fill that in. I can't put the treasure in there. If I put the treasure right here, it's going to put too many breaks. So let's just go ahead and, oh, I don't know. We'll do this right here. Okay. So I'll put rare, rare. Uh, this does look a little weird because I've got rare next to a rare. So I'm going to go like that. So I don't know if you saw, um, I, it should be obvious because there's no rare treasure that big, but I just put, uh, two dashes right there to remind myself that those are two different treasures. Okay. That is done the last round. So we're going to clean up. If I could find some small cats to put in here to fill that room, that would be fantastic. I think we're doing very well though. Uh, this is the easy mode. Uh, so I've already, I've already taken two of my sister's <clears throat> uh, scoring lessons away. And I only have one lesson to myself, so I would love, uh, one more would be nice if it fits within what I've already got on the board. Last round, here we go. Okay. Hmm. I'm really looking for purple and blue because I've got a lot of space. Ooh, I like that. That's a cool, that's a really nice Oshax card. Especially if you're trying to weave through some weird uh, spaces. Okay, so. Cats flipped. We've got one Oshax. I think we have every color. We don't have purple. Okay, well, that's too bad. Two points per lonely cat on your boat. That's not bad, because that gives me four points. Hmm. And then two reds. Hmm. We'll think about that, because I don't know if I can... I don't even know if I can play these two. Um where I want to. 10 points if you have exactly 16 cats on your boat. Let's count because we have one. Okay, let's count red. One, two, three. Green is four, five. Purple is uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And blue is 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my goodness. So exactly 16, I need exactly one more cat. Well, that's going to be kind of tough. I kind of wish I wasn't that close. We have an Oshax and 15 points. If you have at least three families of the same color, I have never done that before. Th like three purple families separated. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, hmm. I don't know if they're going to work any of those lessons. This one is the only one, but I fear that I'm going to waste these unless I do something silly and take this and take column B, make them lonely cats, and score, you know, an extra two points, but I'm giving my sister five points for each. So, oh, that is tough. Part of me almost wants to take this column again and just make, I, I took a lot, so metagaming a little bit here. Um, I don't know if it's metagaming, but I've already taken two lessons from my sister. She's scoring five points per lonely cat. I'm gonna give her a lonely cat for my orange because it's the only orange I have, so that's okay. I would have, I would give her 15 points. I would get another blue. I think I can fit the blue. I think I can fit this green. I can make it a lonely cat too. And I can fit the red anywhere. And get another small treasure on my boat. Hmm. Let me let me do some dots and see if I can plan this out. I'm just gonna see if it works. Uh I don't know. 
let me just I'm gonna I'm gonna plot just a little bit I don't think I can do it hmm but honestly I think that's the best bet giving her five points instead of I'll be giving her five nine 10, 11, 12 points. Hmm. Oh my goodness, what do I do? <sighs> okay. I don't think I'm gonna, I was, so if, just so I, just so I'm clear, we're clear, I was trying to figure out a way to fill this room. I don't think it's gonna happen. And that's okay. Can't do everything. Yeah, I'm going to get close. You know what? We'll go ahead and do it. I'm going to get close to finishing that room. So if we're going to do this orange cat. Okay. Actually, sorry. Well, no, I don't even know if I can place these. Hmm. Not well. So I think we're going to do it. This doesn't work for me. This doesn't work for me. I would like that, but that's okay. She's not getting too many points there. So I'm going to fill in a, we'll do a two here. I am really glad that I got all those treasures. So this, oh, I need to do the one red. I left this spot open for red. Okay. So that card is done. Now my green cat unfortunately can't go in here. I wish it was a smaller cat. So this green cat will be by itself, but I will do that one last. I'm going to do the blue one first. And it's going to, as long as it's touching my other blues, I am good. Actually, so here's something interesting in the game. If I cannot place this cat, I don't have to place it. So I kind of want to make sure I don't have room. And so that's why I'm doing this one first. And I think if I sm smack this cat right in the middle, I won't have room. Because you can choose, um, you can choose uh, which order you do with the cards. And since this, is, this one is next to polka dots and uh, lines, I chose squiggles. And now when I try and take this card, there is nowhere to place it, so I actually just lose it. And that's good because my sister loses one point, five point, six points. And that is the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. I am, Vesh has now come to the island. We are sailing away. Uh, I would say on the on the other end, other side of the island, we are leaving, and Vesh is taking the rest of the cats and making the island his or her own. And with that, let me clean up, and we will do our final scoring. Welcome back. So we have finished the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. Now let's score the boat and see how well we did. So I actually like to start with... Uh, I don't like to start with families. I like to start with the rare treasures over here in the, the second, the last column of scoring. So we're gonna start it there. So rare treasures, I have one, two, three rare, tre rare treasures on my boat, and that is uh, for three points each. So that is nine points. The lessons are really easy. I only have one lesson card that I picked up. Four points per family of four or more cats on your boat. So I do have I did get that one red in that last round. So one, two, three, four, that's one family. My purples uh, are way more than four. And my blues are one, two, three, four, five. So I have three families of four more for 12 points. If I had more lessons here, I would mark on the lesson sheet itself because everything uh, is erasable. But I only have one, I have 12. I have no visible rats on my boat. So that's zero. And now I have, I have two rooms that are still visible. This one, at the very end, I got so close. 
And then, like normal, uh, the way I play this game at least, I, n I don't try to do the deck of just solid gray. I use that as to pass through. So I have that room and that room for negative 10. Okay. And now, families. My blue family. And let me get a little closer here. Blue family, I have one, two, three, four, five for 15. Green families, zero, because I have two by themselves. Orange family, I have one by itself for zero. Uh, red family, I'll skip purple, one, two, three, four for 11 points. And then my purple family is one, two, three, four, five, six for 20 points. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of math here. So nine and 12 is 21, minus 10 is 11. Okay, so I have 20, 35, 46, 57, if I counted that right, 57 points. And my name is Andy, let's double check that. 12 and 9 is 21, minus 10 is 11, 20, 35, 46, 57. Okay, so now let's score, let's score my sister. And we'll just score her, well, we'll score her over here. So my sister gets five points per lonely cat. So right away she gets uh, one for the orange, one for the green, one for the green. So she gets five, 10, 15 points. I will say that kind of hurts, but it's the only card that she got because during the game, we did not have fewer than nine treasures. I think I have like 11, I think I have 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we have no visible rats. That was the one that was gonna hurt a lot. So we are done with her. All right, so I have, I give her five points for one orange cat, which makes it, I'll just cross these off, well, actually we can erase, which makes 15 into 20. We have, oh no, I, was, I erased part of my board. That's okay, that was one cat, that was one red cat. That was that awesome shape that let me move into the next area. There you go. I guess the one problem with uh, markers is that you gotta be careful where you touch the board, okay? So she gets uh, four, eight, 12, 16, so 36. Creeping closer, so we'll see what happens. Uh, ooh, we'll see. Um, so she gets three points each, so three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points. 18 points there. So 36 and 18 is 54. Uh-oh, I think we're, I think we're, uh, this isn't looking good. Oof. And then blue is two, oh yeah, I think she's got us here. Blue is two points per, so two, four, six, eight, ten. 64 points. And then green, she gets two for 66. Oh man. So it looks like our sister was successful in taking uh, credit for the work we've been doing on our ship. She took 66 points. I think my, my large family of purple really doomed us here, especially since it was in the three spot. I think we did really well with the orange. Okay with the red, but blue and purple being in the middle there, uh, maybe I should have gone a different route with, with the purples. The lessons kind of hurt since I only had one but it was 66 to 57. And that is the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. Thank you for joining me at the table for a solo playthrough of the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and hitting that subscribe button. Thank you again, and I hope you'll join me for my next video.